Okay, so the candle's lit down there, and it has the can only above it by about a centimeter because we want all of the heat of the paraffin wax burning being transferred to the aluminum can and the water inside, which together is mocked up to make a bomb calorimeter setup. Uh, if I go to the thermometer now, I'm using the thermometer as a stirrer. And as you can see from the picture in the initial temperature, which was uh, certainly not up to 27 degrees Celsius as the water is going now, the water is increasing, go figure, in temperature, given the fact that we've had a tea light candle lit under this can with the water in it for a couple of minutes. So this is how the experiment works, and I'm just going to... Let the temperature rise till it gets to roughly 10 or 11 degrees Celsius more. Blow out the candle, put it back on the balance. Get the final mass, which will be lower than the starting mass or initial mass, given the fact that candle wax will have been burned and used up. And then once we get that final mass, we'll be able to figure out how much mass of the C25H52 paraffin burned. And therefore, from that mass, eventually work with a bomb calorimetry situation to get the delta H for combustion of paraffin wax. All right, cool.